automated terminals have been going absolutely crazy with some of these memes running to over 600 million. This allows you to tweet from AI. Even I tweeted today, I got over 200 views already and people are already engaging with this sentient being. People like Andrew Tate have even been making accounts to promote things like RT and Daddy Coin. And now we have even created Tonka AI to tweet about PPP and crypto. Now these things here is something which you can either be the person who invests into these things or you could be the person who builds these things. But either way, I think you need to know how to set this up for yourself. So I made a really quick tutorial um, down below or inside of my uh, Telegram account you see in the description. I will tweet more tutorials and stuff like that to help you out further. But I wanted to give you guys on this channel a quick tutorial on how you can do this for yourself. So to do this, you need a website called make.com. Link for this will be in the description. And what make.com does is it automates your activities. You can set timers. So you can say um, after every 15 minutes, you can set topics. So I chose topics like speak about meme coins, trading meme coins, uh, degen trading. Then you can connect it to the sentient being, which is AI. And after that, you can say, go ahead and tweet to me. You can even say to it, okay, new tweets that come up by Elon Musk, I want to be the first tweet underneath with something thoughtful about what Elon Musk is speaking about. You can get real creative about how to do this. This here is the base setup. So if you have make.com open right now, right, all you need to do is you go through the form to actually join it. And once you've joined make.com, you're going to see something that looks like this. Yours is going to be blank. It's not even going to have this on it, actually. It's just going to be like this, blank. Now, under each one of my posts here, you can see it says set variable, create a completion, and create a post. So you'll be able to find each of these in here. So all you do is you go to tools. The first one is set a variable. You go down, you go to set a variable. And you see underneath, it says exactly the same, set a variable. Next, you want to connect these two. In fact, we'll do that in a second. Let me show you about the topics. So you go to topic list, create a list. Well, we'll connect it for now anyway, if it's asking me to. Done. Now, over here, you want to put a variable name. Now your variable name needs to be something simple. I chose list. So I put list and of topics, of topics. Then you want to set your variables. All variable means is what's different. You know when you're at school and you do science and when you're at school and you do science, what does it say? They're like, oh, you check, check this and if you put this in it, it will explode. And that's the variable. If you change this, you change that, it does stuff, right? That's what a variable is. And in this case, what is the variable? The variable is topics that we're speaking about. So what are the different topics that we're going to speak about? We're going to go up to here. We're going to add. And then we're going to click add. Drag it over here. And we're going to add some variables. Some of the variables you can choose from, in my case, was meme coins, trading meme coins, degen trading. The more variables that you have here, the more variety of things that you can speak about. So if you think about it, this account would get very boring if it's just starting to regurgitate the same things about PPP. But what about when it starts to get creative and starts to add personality? That's when these memes start running up to over 609 million, right? When you look at um, this Twitter account over here, you'll see the Twitter account has a whole personality to it. And the tweet lines vary. Sometimes it's two lines, sometimes it's paragraphs, you know, sometimes it's, it's nice one-liners about 4chan and stuff like that. So whatever you're creating, make sure that it, the topics are interesting. There's a lot of them, right? And they vary as well because every single day, ideally, you want to be tweeting every single hour, right? So you're doing minimum 24 tweets uh, a day. Those topics need to have some type of personality to them. Now, once you've done that, and you've decided your topics, the next thing you're going to want to do 
is you're going to want to add this empty array and add this close um, option over here, right? So for example, don't know why I keep clicking on this one, right? Go over to here, click empty here, empty array. And then you want to add a colon and you put things like meme coins, trading, uh, investing, making money online, online. You can even give make um you can even give um stoic advice on making money. You know, you can start getting like creative because ChatGPT is super smart, right? Then you can close it here. Here. Now you have your topics, right? You've got a list of topics, and it basically says add this list of different topics, right? Then the next step, well, is for it to go to ChatGPT. This bit is where a lot of people get stuck and even I got stuck on it a lot is making this open AI connection. Now to make an open AI connection, you're going to need a developer account, right? This is this one. So to do this, you need to go to platform.openai.com and then you need to go over to your settings and in your settings, you'll find your organization ID. Now, from your organization ID, you're going to want to add this to make.com, right? And also, um, one thing I wanted to mention as well is don't be afraid to use ChatGPT to come up with the ideas to add to it, right? Whole another bonus thing, whole another bonus thing. Like, even like um, screenshots, like I could even screenshot this, drop it into ChatGPT and say, how can I make this better? And it will give me ways of making it better and read the actual screen. Organize the arrays, add different topics, add hashtags, etc. Post every 15 minutes. Then you could say, tell me how to do this. Right? And it will tell you how to do it. Next, um, to add these topics, right? Add, sorry, to add ChatGPT, you're going to need to add your OpenAI connection. API key and organization ID. You find that by simply going to the platform.openia.com, adding this organization ID, then you go to the settings, then you're gonna to wanna to go to dashboard. Underneath dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to go to API keys, create a new secret API key, or allow you to create one, then copy the API key as well, and also put that into your make.com. That'll be this one. So your organization ID will go here, your API key will go here. And it even gives you uh, the links on where to create these things as well. Like you can click it here, it takes you to the direct link and the direct part of where to create this too. Now, once you have connected these, as I have them uh, connected here, right? It will ask you to set up a few of these settings, right? These being, okay, what chat GPT are we using? So you can choose the model of which you want to use, right? I decided to use a uh, GPT-4 mini, right? Because it's going to lose ne less credits, right? And I'll get into credits in a minute. Then you're going to want to set it up to give it a role. The role is going to be the system, right? And then you're going to say to it like, okay, what type of personality do I want this AI to have? I decided you're an experienced degenerate trader um, and you're advising new traders. So it knows I'm experienced. I'm teaching people who ain't experienced. So let me give them tips. Now, I could make this way, way, way bigger, right? I could even say to ChatGPT, right? How can I tell you better to make this better? And it will go, okay, this is what I want to know. Next, you want to go to message two. So you'll click add a message under here for you if you've only done one. And it will ask you to go to uh, role. This role, instead of selecting system, we're going to give a role to the user. Now, when we give a role to the user, we're going to ask it to do this. Craft a tweet that includes content from this topic. Then you're going to put first, which you find by going to here, typing in first, you drag it in. Shuffle another one topic which again is another one which you'll find it here right 
and then brackets brackets right and this actually needs to be uh, constraints here now when you add your constraints this is the thing that you need to tell your AI not to do it and over time you want to actually analyze your AI and say okay stop doing this do this better you know make this change and stop doing this do this better make this better it's called iteration or you could even call it optimization this is how you make it better you're probably going to like just launch it get it out which is going to be great but then you're going to need to iterate and optimize on it so it gets more likes more views and more engagement because your job now is to move away from doing the work right to working on the work does that make sense and next your max tokens, you want to put them at zero so it uses the max tokens, right? And once you've done that, it's not going to allow you to post until you have gone to OpenAI, billing, connected your card, and put some credits on that card. You can see I've already spent one penny, right? And then you can add it to auto recharge. Because this thing here is going to be like a machine. Imagine you're running a token and running a project. Instead of having to pay somebody to tweet, as you can see, I've already got retweets, likes, and comments, right? You can now have somebody tweet on the behalf of you and you can make the AI better, right? Once you have done that and you've connected your billing, you can go ahead and click OK. Once you have clicked OK, the last thing you have to do is connect your Twitter account. To connect your Twitter account is very easy, actually. Most people get stuck on this last part, right? This is one part you have to be really careful about. When you add your Twitter account, right? It's gonna ask you to add your ID and add your secret, right? Which is like your uh, API again. So APIs have public APIs and secret APIs, right? When you wanna add them, you're gonna to wanna to go to add over here. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to developer .twitter.com from developer.twitter.com you will see this main dashboard from the dashboard on the left hand side it's going to give you different options to uh, make projects and apps right and also check out the products you only need the free option once you have the free option that's it you're going to want to go down uh, it will ask you yourself to actually create a project. I already have a project. And then you're going to want to click the settings icon, scroll down, and this is where everybody gets stuck. Under user authentication settings, you actually need to add this. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube which don't show you specifically where this is to add. Once you click edit on here, you're going to want to go to read and write, scroll down and click web app, and then you're going to want to add these exact links in here. And if you want to find these links to copy, you just have to type into Google how to connect make to X. And here, make.com have uh, links where you can copy and paste. They are about here. Callback URLs and web URL. This one is the first one that actually starts with number two. And this one is the second one, which actually doesn't start with a number two. And you will find where to add it over here. Once you add those two things, it will connect you to the Twitter. Once it's connected to the Twitter, then you want to give it choices. So you want to type into here. You click it here. You scroll down. There's two drop down on menus. Under usage, under choices, go down to message. And then you want to add both of these. You click drag then you want to go to message hit the drop down menu and then you want to hit message context and after here you'll see it will go choices message context right exactly the same thing as you see here choices message context now once you hit ok then you click post and as you can see automatically the make.com has gone to tools, it's gone, okay, let me run through. What are we speaking about? Meme coins, trading meme coins, DGen trading. Then it's gone to chat GPT and it said to chat GPT, right, you're an expert, you're speaking about memes, tell me something interesting. Don't um, just write a tweet, right? Don't um, 
do more than 200 characters and don't use quotation marks, don't use emojis. After it does that, it then goes to Twitter and it says, right, make a post automatically, right? Now I've just run this once. You could turn this completely on, schedule it for every 50 minutes, whatever. I would say schedule it for every hour, right? And then you have an automated machine which you can go back to and check to. Now let's see what tweet it decided to post. It says here, <laughs> when your chart looks like a masterpiece, but your portfolio says it's abstract art, trading memes, where gains and dreams and losses are just a bad punchline. <laughs> it's not that bad, to be honest. It's not that bad. Like, this, this is the thing is like, I could just keep building on this and building on this to where these one-liners will be so good, you wouldn't know if it is me or whether it's somebody else. And over time, it will just be the AI after years and years and years and years. Who knows? Who knows already who has been replaced by AI. So this is a full tutorial on how you can schedule uh, a fully automated terminal. You can now go ahead and launch your own terminals on Pump Fund. You can launch your own terminals on Gas Pump, whatever you want to do. Or you can go ahead and use these things for yourself. If you have any questions, queries whatsoever, go down to Telegram link. Link is in the description. I'll give you some more tools and resources, even how I found to do these types of things too. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I'll see you in the next video.